will now connect the device um, to the 230 watts 50 hertz cycle. This I have over here is already connected and you plug it into the side. So now the power exchanger is connected and I now will turn it on on the switch I have on the left side. Once I turn it on, uh, the unit will power up and you will see the X uh, lighting up on the device. I am using this power exchanger, the X10 model, which provides me 1200 watts uh, on a Ninja Blender. This Ninja Blender requires 1200 watts uh, maximum, so this is suitable for the device. Here you have now two options. You can either take the exchange outlet, what I will do right now, and plug it right into this outlet. And now I'm having in these outlets 120 volts, 60 hertz. plug in my blender and I turn the switch on so I have the power and power on the blender and then you can just so this is how the power exchanger works so when every time you have a problem that you only have 200 to 240 volts 50 Hz cycle and you require 120 volts 60 Hz, you will have a power exchange unit as your solution. And as I told you in the beginning, you have the option for 5, 10, and 15 amps. You can place it on a shelf next to your unit or you can mount it to the wall. Uh, you have numerous appliances for it, either on just the kitchen device your washing machine, your dishwasher, or many people use it on their high-end audio systems, especially when you have a turntable that requires 60 hertz.